both see our number members, uh, Josh Tausis and Dave Hughes. Welcome to the both of you. Thanks, Greg. Good to see you. Nice Howdy. to see you. Morning. Nice to see you. And uh, you guys have, uh, we were watching some of the mountain bike racing here this morning, the Enduro. That was uh, quite an event, and it uh, looks like everyone had a great time with that. Yeah, yeah, no, sure. Go hit it out of the park yeah. with that one. It's really good to see. See our great job on it. See our number is a, is an organization, uh, a collection of a of a huge amount of mountain bikers. Is it nationally, and then you have a local chapter? Maybe you could explain that a little bit. What see our number? Yeah, is. so uh, NIMBA is the New England Mountain Bike so Association. Um, it has thirty one chapters, about seven thousand uh, members. Uh, it uh, exists to preserve access to open spaces for mountain biking, uh, for education in both uh, riding skills and trail building, um, as well as you know proper etiquette and you know respecting landowners and other trail users. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, it's about 30 years old. It's been going through a pretty significant hmm. growth uh, growth spurt in the last five years, and particularly right. in Maine. Um, see our NIMBA. Is, a, is one of the 31 chapters. Um, we uh, were organized in July of 2010. Um, we have been the uh, uh, you know, primary driver of the vision right. up here uh, with lots of support from the town and Main Hudson Trails and Sugarloaf. Um, and we, uh, we continue to provide a lot of energy around the trail system growth um, and the uh, a semblance of a uh, uh, mountain bike community, right, and um, a sense of uh, um, trail stewardship. Well, certainly you have uh, achieved those goals uh, thus far, and it's great support. Let's talk about some of the initiatives, uh, trail initiatives. Yeah, you know we've been building trails in in pods. So over the years, we've had different places where we're focusing a lot of our energy. Um, Josh is the the trail boss and. He's the guy that gets this, the dirt moved and the, and the trails uh, lined out on, on the map. And uh, I'll let you know, Josh talk yeah, about really, what we're, we're doing. We're trying to expand the geographic sort of footprint of the network in, in both directions, really. We, we have some effort moving us towards Kingfield and mm -hmm. getting some trail access and, and um, development in Kingfield happening. And we're also trying to move a little bit north of here uh, into the Crocker Mountain parcel in Wyman and Carabasset. Just right. to give our riders a new experience and new areas, and just to <clears throat> excuse me, spread us out a little bit. Right. Uh, let's talk about the the 2020. That uh, it kind of a look back. Uh, it, it it was challenging. Yeah. So 2020, you know, on some levels, was the year that never was for <laughs> our mountain bike programming. Um, the um, the trail sure. building con continued, uh, but uh, you know our our ability to really engage with our members for our you know, social events and group rides and right. and races and et cetera were just kind of a dumps. Um, so uh, 2020 was was very challenging. Uh, you know, the you know this year and and next are, are looking to be very uh, very exciting. Right. Um, the uh, the programming here is ramping up uh, incredibly. Um, Interestingly enough, as as it didn't, um, as the perception of a lot of things happening with the Mountain Bike Club in particular, you know, the events weren't occurring and group rides and the things that Dave just mentioned, but a lot of behind the scenes work occurred with specifically the NEMBA board um, and all of our partners. We kept the planning phases going and we kept the organization um, moving in the direction that we wanted to go so that by the time, you know, we're getting through 2020 and past, uh, we were poised to execute and, and to continue to you know, produce good events and have rides and, and develop more trail and that sort of thing. So it was, it was 2020 for sure. And ironically, while we <clears throat> couldn't get all of the social um, aspects together, we saw record trail usership. I mean, right. there are so many more people yes. um, out on the trails right now. And um, Let's just talk when you about that. drive through the village and through the town, I mean, in the summertime, this is a live, vibrant place. And, it sure is. Um, there's a lot more to do up here and just even off the trails. There's a lot more uh, restaurants open and, you know, it just it, it feels alive up here in the summertime.